This video will demonstrate how to make histograms and modify them using R, as well as explain when it is more appropriate to use the bar plot function. To begin with, your data should already be loaded into R, as well as the car package. We'll start with a simple histogram. For this, we use this function. And then we will insert our variable name into the parentheses. And if we copy and paste that into R, we'll see that it gives us a histogram. Okay, so that's a simple enough histogram, but we can also modify this using a few functions in addition to the histogram function. We can specify the number of bins and their spacing by using this function. We can do this in sequence from 0 to 3. Since we, have, since we want 3 bins, then we can have this 0 to 3 by 1. We can add a main title to our histogram with this. And just make sure you type your title within quotation marks. Also add an x-axis label with this. And again, make sure you're typing in quotation marks for this. So with this function, we are generating a modified histogram with um, specified bins and their position on the main title and an x-axis label. So we copy and paste this into R. And we can see that our histogram has been modified. We have a main title, three bins spaced as we just told R to space them, and an x-axis label. So because this variable takes counts of how many um, people fall into specific categories as an undergraduate, graduate, or teacher, it may be more appropriate for us to make a bar graph. And we can do this with R using a simple function similar to the histogram function. Um, we just use the R plot function. There. But before we do that, we have to take counts of how many people fall into each category. So, we'll just do that really quickly with this. And this will generate a count of how many people are falling into each category present within that variable. Copy and paste that into R. And we can continue on making our bar plot. And we just need this count to be displayed in our bar plot. And then um, we can add a main title again. We'll keep with the same title. Again, quotation marks. And then we can also add names to our bins with this function. So with this function, we can add names to the bins that we are going to have on our bar graph. And each um, bin label needs to be in quotation marks. We 
also adjust the font size of the thin label. And with this function, you can actually adjust um, the font of your title. If you, would, if you were to type um, main after this, you could adjust the size of the title you're generating for your graph. But we want to make sure we're adjusting the size of the names of our uh, bins that we're making. And we'll do this at a 0 0.8. And we can also specify our y axis scale with this function. And we want our y axis scale to go 0 to 14. Okay, so I'll just copy and paste this into R and we'll generate a bar graph with the specification. Hold on. And that is our bar graph. And you can see we have a title, our bins are clearly labeled, and it's slightly different from the histogram we previously made with um, this data. And probably demonstrates it a little or displays it a little better.